From groceries to gasoline, how much you pay depends on one thing, inflation. So exactly what is it going to cost for gas, a higher education, and health care this year? Here's what the experts are predicting for inflation 2015. According to the 42 professional forecasters surveyed by the Philadelphia Federal Reserve, core inflation in 2015 should remain low at 1.7%. Now, core inflation doesn't count food and energy, but you, of course, have to. The USDA is looking for 2 to 3% higher food prices this year. That's not too bad, but some things will definitely be worse. After increasing 11 to 12% in 2014, beef prices are expected to go up another 4.5 to 5.5% this year. The news on energy, however, is super. According to the Energy Information Administration, regular gas should average about $2.60 a gallon this year. That's nearly 80 cents a gallon less than last year. According to the College Board, the cost of a four-year public university is expected to rise about 2.9% for in-state students during the 2014-15 school year. Now, that is higher than the inflation rate, but historically, it's a small increase. And last, and definitely not least, health insurance. According to PricewaterhouseCoopers, the cost of health insurance is expected to rise 6.8% this year. That's slightly higher than last year's rate. Bottom line, inflation is expected to remain low this year, but you may not notice it if you're paying for things like health care or college. What you need now is a little more information, maybe some links. They're waiting for you at moneytalksnews.com. Just do a search for inflation 2015. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson. Love saving when you shop? Get the free Money Talks newsletter. It only takes seven seconds to sign up, and it's full of deals and news you'll really use. Do it now at MoneyTalksNews.com.